Hey YouTube, um, I'm putting in the springs today. Uh, I got the wheels off and everything. This is the hypercoil springs, the six inchers. Um, I got taken off the wheel. And there's my spacers and extra extended studs and everything. See? I'm gonna replace the spring right now. Actually, that's the front spring that used to go in the front, but I changed those out with the Hypercoil 600 spring rate, four inch springs. Now I'm gonna switch switch those out with the 1300 spring rate. I'll do little updates and everything, let you guys know what's going on, and yeah. So there you go. Okay, hey YouTube. Um, I just replaced. That's the front spring that I had in the back. I just replaced it. Um, sorry I didn't take a video of it. My hands are fucking dirty so I can't grab my camera. But uh, I put the new hyper coil in there. I'm going to have it descend two inches. And then I have it an inch on the bottom showing. Um, I'm on the process of doing the other side. But uh, <laughs> knowing my calculations, I probably have to raise it back up and fuck with the the right height more because I always fuck up on this shit but um yeah see there's the other spring I need to replace it still uh I'm gonna take it off then I'll show you guys how to take out the spring it, there's just a bolt in the center and you take it off and it popped off and then you throw the new spring on there and you're good to go there's the hypercoil spring and yeah I'll update you in a little okay. bit okay cool I got the shred out okay loosen this I loosen that. All you have to do to replace the spring is you could do it two ways. You can take the little plate off and then take off the bolt under it right here. But uh, I've done this so many times. <laughs> I'm just going to take off the bolt and then be good to go. Take it off. Pop the spring back in. Adjust it to the way I want it to be. And then after I adjust it to the way I want it to be, be good to go. Throw it back in there. Drop the car, see if it's at the right height I want it to be. If it's not, jack it back up, adjust, and you know, that's how I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just giving you guys an update. And hey guys, I just um, softened up the springs. It's they're in there. Hold on, let me show you. <sighs> <laughs> okay. You can see in there. Hyper coil spring is in. Cleaned up the coils a little bit. Now it's the trial and error part to see how low it is and then go from there. And I'm I'm, I'm kinda confident that might drop enough, but I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll find out. Um but yeah. That is the hyper coils. I'll tell you how stiff they are and everything. They're gonna be stiff as fuck because it is at 1300 uh, spring rate. So, yeah, there you go. Um, I'll let you guys do an update. So, yeah. Okay, guys, this is the first test fit. And I'm extremely flush. Like, I don't. I don't think I can drive like this. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the first fit. Let's see if I can drive like this, but, um, I don't think I can, to be honest. So, I think I'm going to have to raise it back up. Damn it. Damn it. That pisses me off. Yeah, I got to raise this thing back up, and, and then, yeah. Oh, fuck. That looks so sick, though. <laughs> Um, that's extremely, extremely hella flush right there. That is crazy. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna raise it back up now. Okay, guys, I got it down, and I'm not rubbing too bad. I just have this uh, tire shine, I guess, that's so slippery that it's just sliding. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go try to drive on it really quick, but I think I'm gonna raise it up like a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, guys. 
I just put it, I just took it on a test drive. Like, it surprisingly handles really, really well. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I took a 25 mile an hour turn at 50, and I didn't have any problems. Like, the only thing is, like, I just started to rub a little bit, but the thing is, is that I just need to raise the other side three millimeters, because this one I can fit in there easily, but it's on the wood right now, so. Like, I can fit my finger in there easily, and on the other side I can't, so I'm going to raise it up three mil, and then I should be okay, and then I'll put my back seats in probably later. Um, I don't know if I even want to, dude. It's so nice. Um, but, yeah, I just need to raise driver's side up, like, three millimeters, be done with it, and then when I put my seats back in, I think I'll raise it up another three mil on both sides, to, like, yeah, three turns, and I'll be able to carry people. It stays really flat through the turns. It's fucking... Like, it doesn't vibrate as bad on the inside. It... It's just... Oh my god. I like it a lot. And it doesn't... It doesn't go down at all when I... When I sit in there. It's just, It's stiff. It's not bouncy. It's... It's different. So... Yeah. When I raise it up 3 mil on the driver's side... I'll be all good. Okay, sorry guys. Stupid battery died on the flip. Um, but I still need to do my lower control arm bushings. After I do those, well, I actually sold my old fender flares. Thank God. Um, all I have to do now, I think I'm gonna buy a driver's door fender, eBay. Buy the fender. Have it cut, put the fend the new fender flares I have now on there. Cars are look classy as fuck. Well, not more aggressive as fuck. And then yeah, I'm pretty much done. Uh the rear sway bar, it's not fitting. I need it. To... Well actually when I extend my rear end I think I'll be able to be able to fit it. Uh but other than that, it's beautiful. And yeah. So I'm pretty much done with this video. Hope you guys liked the video. Tell me what you think. And there's more to come, guys. There's more to come. I'm really excited.